today I have my friend Tabata and she's gonna try some Hungarian snacks I brought with me. Hi, my name is Tabata. I'm half Australian, half Japanese and I've been living in Japan for most of my life. And yeah, I'm excited to try these out. Yeah, I hope you will like them. Mm. It's very popular in Hungary. I think everyone eats it almost on a daily basis. This uh, brand, Yuri. Yeah, <laughs> professional. How's it? Mm. It's good. good. Yeah. Is it uh, similar to any other Japanese snacks? I think we have in Australia, we have like the teddy bear biscuits. And it's not too sweet. No? Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna try this one. Yeah, that's very good. Mm -hmm. That's addictive. It's similar to Oreos, but it's more thicker. The biscuit part is thicker too, and I think the cream part is also mm. thicker. So Chocolate biscuits. Yeah. Okay. Finally, I'm not the one who's reviewing something. <laughs> but I think we will, we might do um, like a Japanese snack mm. reviews, like autumn special edition stuff. It's a bit harder than the mm. Oreo, but it's good. It's mm. good. The cream is really nice. Mm. It's not that sweet, which I like. And like, even though the cookie part is like really. Um, you know, it takes away all the water inside your mouth. But the cream, <laughs> you know, it covers it, and it's really nice. And then, I like it. those are like um, chocolate drops covered in candy. We call it French dragée. Where we used to have a lot. When I, oh, it's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have them. <laughs> when I was a kid, we ate it a lot. Mm. Mm. Childhood memories. It's really nice. Yeah, these are addictive. Really? Stop, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's small, it's mm -hmm. easy to eat. Yeah. And these are very old style, I think. And we have like four or five different flavors. Can I buy into it? Yeah, yeah, of course. For me, as, uh, as a like, I don't know if I think about cherries, I would mm. imagine something pink mm. and it has white and brown. Don't ask me why, but yeah. can you tell it has cherry flavor? Yeah, I can taste the cherry and how <laughs> describe it. Inside chocolate, mm -hmm. it's like a different texture to the outside yeah. maybe. It's more creamy inside. I yeah. like it. Yeah. That's good. And so far everything was good. <laughs> <laughs> it is like mm. similar has walnuts or walnut cream flavored cream. Looks like a regular chocolate bar. Weird. I can't really taste the walnuts. Walnut. It's, it's mm. rather like a rum. Mm. Rum like. I think because the cherry flavor was strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't really taste it, but it's good. It has like the creamy walnutty stuff in the middle. Okay, we have like two or three times bigger the size of them really? ones because it's popular mm. it's good mm. yeah we like it it's like rummy i think mm. it has rum i think in japan you can describe this like namachoko namachoko like I didn't, I don't it's know. not cooked properly inside uh -huh. yeah it's really nice it's like a semi baked or mm. cooked. Mm. I like this. That's a wafer. Balaton. Lake uh, Balaton is very famous in Hungary and Europe. It's very mm. big. Yeah. So it's just a wafer and with the dark chocolate around, mm. I think. I think I have, like, I have a similar snack in Germany. We had those like warehouse stuff and chocolate. It's just mint. It's the same actually, it's just um, the chocolate is different. Mm. I don't know if you can actually tell the difference, yeah, but. Because that one was really sweet. I'm very so. Can you tell the difference? I feel like this one has a more strong chocolatey taste mm -hmm. than this one. And which one do you prefer? I think mm. dark one. Yeah? For me. Yeah. It's badass means hunter the chocolate is very dark looks hard, yeah hard as well and there is a filling inside but mm. it's hard 
Can you taste the cherry? A little bit, like it's more less cherry mm -hmm, than them. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. more alcohol. Mm -hmm. Maybe for adults, not kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> then you cannot eat that. <laughs> Yeah, but I like it how the outside chocolate is really hard and the filling is like nice and creamy. Mm. I like it. I don't know if it's the alcohol, but you never get these type of chocolates in Japan. Yeah. Vanilla ash. It's a round biscuit with a hole in the middle and the half of the bottom is covered in milk chocolate. I like it too. It's very easy to, to eat. <laughs> Everything is easy to eat. <laughs> Are these any different than like uh, usual Japanese snacks? Yeah, it's hard to explain, but the cookie texture is very different in Europe and like the Western country, even in Japan. It comes back to like the culture and the um, baking history. Mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's a good way to describe it. Like, mm -hmm. even the breads here in Japan are totally different than the ones. Mm -hmm back in Hungary. I think here the breads are more like um, sweeter, mm. the yeah. white bread. It's yeah, it, we call it the Turo Rubri. Turo Perfect. <laughs> mm. It's not as grainy as the cottage cheese, it's more smooth inside. Mm. It's kind of like a cheesecake. Nobody ever explained uh, this <laughs> way, I think, really? this chocolate. But actually, as you mentioned, it really does remind you when you eat it mm. to a cheesecake to a, like a um, more dense cheesecake yeah, I think yeah. I like it and this is the original and this is the, the bigger version we have like jam stuffed ones mm. in the middle Boti. 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 And it's like milk chocolate with pieces of dried apricot and brisket mm. the biscuit is very crunchy and mm. You can taste that apricot afterwards, it's really good. Yeah, I like it too. Mm. Japanese people, it's not very common to have apricot as well, maybe. I haven't even seen like apricot, the fruit itself. Mm, this is from the brand Pick. And this is the mild. Mm. Very savory and when you crunch into it, it's very juicy. Mm. Coffee one? Yeah, cappuccino. It has like a coffee. And it actually actually really looks like a cappuccino inside. Like I can have two, three coffees a day. Really? Hmm. It's like the other one. Yeah. Like half white, half dark. Mm. Yeah, again, the inside part is creamy and the outside part is like not that hard but crunchy. Mm. You can really taste the coffee. Mm, it's very mm. strong. You can tell right away. Even the smell is strong. Mm. Bohok, bohot, bohot means clown. The font looks like like a circus. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, mm. it does. Mm. Oh, I know. It's like dark chocolate with orange and rum. Mmm, orange. Like, so. When you tell me that it's orange, I can tell that it's orange, but if I don't know, it just tastes really sweet. Yeah, when I know that it's orange, I can really taste it, it's really nice. And again, creamy in the middle. These ones, I think these are all like same style, yeah. I think. Yeah. In Nugati, things like nut filling inside with wafer and covered in milk chocolate. Maybe there is a piece of nut inside too oh. the inside is like namachoko oh yeah mm. it's really good this one's really sweet it reminds me of australian chocolates yeah mm. uh, which one or just mm. in general in general and which one which one was your favorite i think this one the cheesecake one wow oh, really yeah because it's very controversial that's how you say mm. when like a lot of people dislike this one. Oh really yeah because of the texture I've never had anything like this before. And so I think that was all. Yeah. I'm glad you liked it. I think uh, she will feature in other videos <laughs> in the future. Maybe we will do next uh, taste tests 
with Japanese snacks. Mm. Autumn. autumn, yeah, autumn snacks. And we, maybe we can get like the Japanese uh, Starbucks drink. And oh, then yeah. thank you for watching, guys. And see you next time in the next video. Bye. Bye.